Hello, I'm Xavier Bissett, and welcome back to my little cooking show. Today, I thought I'd do some baking again and decided to make the Minecraft cake. I got today's recipe from a YouTuber I watch quite often named Binging with Babish. So, yeah, let's start it. Here's everything you're gonna need. So, four cups cake flour, three cups sugar, 12 eggs, one packet of gelatin, 12 ounces of raspberries, one cup of milk, one lemon, one tablespoon of vanilla paste, three sticks or one and a half cups of unsalted butter, some white frosting, one tablespoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons of salt. You are also going to need two large bowls, a square cake pan with high sides, a fine mesh strainer, and optionally a cake stand if you just have one laying around. Start by softening three steaks of butter and preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Next, we're gonna combine the wet components of our cake batter. For our eggs, we're going to do four whole eggs and then eight egg yolks. Next, add in your milk and vanilla paste and then mix to combine. After all that's done, go over to your dry and start mixing together your dry ingredients. That's gonna be your flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Always remember to measure out everything beforehand to make sure you have enough because I actually ran out of salt here in the middle of cooking. Thanks to my dad for getting me more salt. Once all your dry ingredients are into one bowl, mix them together with the whisker fork. Now you're going to grab your softened butter from earlier. Mine was a bit more melted than I would have liked. Now you're going to add your butter to your dry ingredients and mix. When you're finished, the entire thing should be pretty crumbly and almost dry to the touch. After it hits that consistency, you're going to want to add in your wet mixture from earlier a third of the bowl at a time. Make sure the last third is fully mixed together before adding the next or else it will mess up the batter. After all your batter is combined, add it to your square cake pan. Make sure to spray down your cake pan before putting in the batter to prevent sticking. After that, just throw it in the oven for about an hour or until it fully sets and you can put in a toothpick without it coming out with gunk all over it. While the cake is in the oven, I'm going to start making my raspberry topping. Start by throwing all your raspberries into a saucepan with a little bit of water. After that, throw in a quarter ounce of sugar and the juice of half a lemon. Now you're going to kind of mash and stir these raspberries over low to medium heat in order to get them to fully break down and get all the flavor out of them for your topping. After you feel like they've broken down enough, put them through your fine mesh strainer. Press down on what was ever inside the strainer with your spatula or spoon or whatever you're using to mix the berries together. After that, you could just toss what's left in the strainer. Now you're going to mix together your packet of jello and half an ounce of sugar inside the bowl with your raspberry stuff. And once it's fully mixed, add it to a container of your choice and then throw it in the fridge until it's fully set. Make sure to add the gelatin and stuff while the raspberries are still pretty hot in order to get it to fully mix together well. Now it's all just waiting. Once your cake has risen quite enough, pull it out and then check the inside with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, then the cake is ready, but if it comes out with chunks and goop all over it, then it needs to go back into the oven for a bit longer. Now you're going to let the cake stand for about an hour, though I started making this late at night, so I just let it sit overnight with a towel over top. Next day now, so now we're going to remove the cake from the pan. You'll notice the top of the cake has risen a bunch and it's kind of bulbous and we don't want that for our like square cake. So we are going to cut the top off the cake. Now you're going to take your white frosting and you're going to spread it as evenly as possible across the cake, including the sides. Now you're going to take your raspberry gelatin, which should have fully set by now, and you are going to cut it into little pieces and add it to the top of the cake. 
I had a bit too much liquid compared to how much gelatin I had, so mine wasn't fully set, so it kind of fell apart. But if you do it properly, it should come out as jello. Now, mine doesn't look too pretty because I was rushing when I was adding the frosting and the topping, so it's kind of uneven. And after adding the topping, the cake is done and it is ready to serve. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Good morning, and welcome to your accent for Wednesday, February 21st. I'm Xavier Bissett, here at Ripley Kemp. Let's get it started. The Exercise Science Program will be having a blood drive next Thursday, February 29th. Be sure to go to your graduating class to find the landing page to sign up or come to room A107. Everyone needs to be 16 years old to give. Signing up online gets you a $10 gift card. Everyone must have an ID to donate. For more info, see Mr. Sifferlin in room A107. To all current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders interested in trying out for the 2024 to 2025 WHS cheerleading team, please mark your calendars and plan to attend a mandatory athlete guardian meeting on Monday, March 11th at 6.30 p.m. in the study hall room. Your attendance at this meeting is mandated in order to be eligible to try out for our team. Please see Coach Mazur in room D205 if you have any questions. Congratulations to the 37 DECA marketing students that placed at the district competition at the University of Akron and qualified for DECA states. The 37 DECA students will be competing in Columbus in March for a chance to qualify for the DECA International Competition in Anaheim, California in April. Great job, Maslin DECA. Today's lunch is a barbecue chicken sandwich, cucumber slices, a side salad, and fruit. Happy birthday to Jacob Adkins. And that's all for your accent. I'm Ripley, here with Xavier. Have a good day and we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>